Hello children. We have learned a lot of methods for adding numbers so far. In this lesson we will learn to add mentally. Long time ago there was a famine in the village. Everyone was suffering from hunger. Then one day suddenly a vine appeared in the middle of the village. The vine was very thick and tall. It was going so high that it was going high above the sky. There was something special about this vine. A math puzzle was written on each of its leaves. Many people tried to climb the vine, but every time they slipped and fell down. Then Minu got an idea. She saw a puzzle written on the leaf of the vine. This was the puzzle written on the leaf. Children, can you find the answer to this puzzle mentally? Yes, using the method of addition we have learned, we can solve this quickly. First, we will add 3 to 25. We get 28. Now if we add 28 to 30, we get 58. See how quickly we solved it. Like what we did, Minu too solved this riddle in her mind and wrote the answer 58 with her finger on the vine leaf. As soon as she wrote the answer to the puzzle, the vine became shorter as it sunk into the ground. The next puzzle was something like this. Uncle quickly found the answer to the puzzle this way. 0 by adding 0, 01 and 0, 01. 0 adding 0, 010 and 0, 010. At the end, 500 added to 200 became 700. Children, remember, if any two three digit numbers are to be added, we have only 0 place of 10 and 1. We can quickly find the solution to that addition by adding two numbers written in the hundreds place and adding two zeros behind it. Like what Minu did, Uncle too wrote the answer to the riddle 700 on the wine leaf with his finger. And then again, the wine sunk into the ground and got shorter. Babun started solving the next riddle after seeing Uncle and Minu doing this. This was the next puzzle. Children, can you find an easy way to solve this puzzle quickly? Come, let's do it together. We can write 128 as the addition of two numbers, 28 and 100. Now with the same process we just learned, we can write 700 by adding 100 and 600. Now it's very easy. If you add 28 to 700, you get 728. Babban wrote 728 as the answer on the vine leaf and the vine got smaller by sinking down even further. Now there are only three puzzles left on the vine. Can you solve these three riddles in your mind? And help the villagers see what is hidden in the vine. Very good children, you have solved this very quickly. As soon as the villagers wrote all the answers to the riddles, the vine penetrated into the ground completely. There was a basket filled with lots of eatables just above the vine. The villagers were very happy to see this basket. The villagers got together and ate the eatables which were in the basket. Exactly the same way as they had gathered together to find solutions to all the riddles. We saw how we can easily add numbers mentally by breaking the digits and adding them in a different way. 
In the next lesson, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Kids, you are having fun doing mental math, right? Let us look at some more interesting examples of addition and subtraction in this lesson. Raju and Bablu were given glasses by Jeev as gifts. Now Raju and Bablu are wearing these glasses to see what is unique about these glasses. First Raju and Bablu reached the shop where Sher Khan is selling eggs. There they saw that Sher Khan had 30 yellow eggs and 120 white eggs. When Raju put on his glasses, he saw such a pair. There were a total of 150 eggs. By adding 120 white eggs to 30 yellow eggs, Raju started jumping with joy. Now, Bablu put on his glasses and looked at the eggs. And he saw such a pair on adding 30 yellow eggs and 120 white eggs. He got a total of 150 eggs. Yeah! Now, Bablu is also happily dancing. Raju and Bablu wrote down the addition on a paper as it appeared to them in their glasses. Raju and Bablu are surprised how their glasses showed the same addition in two different ways. Are both of these additions correct? We can write the sum of 120 and 30 by adding 30 to 120. We can write in either of these two ways. In this way, the additions seen in both Raju and Bablu's glasses are perfectly correct. Raju and Bablu got excited. They now decide to visit Babban's lemonade stall. There were a total of 42 lemons, out of which Babban used 12 lemons. Now Babban has a total of 30 lemons left. This time first, Bablu looked at the Babban's stall with his glasses. And he saw such a subtraction. Out of 42 lemons, 12 used limes were subtracted and which leaves him with 30 lemons. Now Raju looked at the stall with his glasses and saw this addition. If you add 12 used lemons to 30 of the remaining lemons, then you will get a total of 42 lemons. Are both equations seen by Raju and Bablu through their glasses correct? Yes! Just as we can add numbers in two different ways, we can perform subtraction using addition as we just did. Isn't it fun? Now Raju and Bablu went to the Apu Elephant's sweet shop. This time, Raju and Bablu looked at Apu's sweet shop together with their glasses. But Raju looked towards Laddu and Bablu looked towards the Burfi. Children, can you fill these tables using the numbers and symbols above them? Well done children, you have written the correct answers in this table. Raju and Bablu roamed many places and enjoyed using their glasses. You too can enjoy math using these methods of addition and subtraction. Children, in this video we have seen some more interesting examples of performing addition and subtraction mentally.
Hello children, we learned the method of adding two and three digit numbers. But what if we have to add two and three digit numbers using the carryover method? Let's find the answer to this question in this lesson. One day, Babban was wandering in the forest and regretting how he lost all the three wishes he had got from the genie. Then he saw a hen there. But there was something special about this hen. She was sitting on a pile of golden eggs. There were a total of 23 golden eggs. Babban was very happy and he took the hen and all the golden eggs and went home happily. Babban fed the hen daily for a week. And in a week, the hen laid another 36 eggs. Babban is thinking, how many gold eggs he has now? Let us help him. To find the total number of gold eggs, we will add 36 to 23. Do you remember you learned in class 2 about how to write two-digit numbers using the method of tokens of tens and ones? We can write 23 and 36 using tokens like this. We will first add the ones tokens. Add 6 ones to 3 ones and we get how many ones? 9 ones. Now if we add 2 10 tokens and 3 10 tokens, how many do we get? Perfect! 5 of 10 tokens. Thus, Babban had a total of 59 gold eggs. Babban gave her more grain in the following week. And the hen gave him 128 gold eggs that week. Babban started dancing happily. He started thinking that he will now definitely become the richest man of the village. Let us see how many golden eggs in total Babban has. We will add 128 and 59. First, we will write 128 and 59 using tokens. Is this correct, children? We have a total of 17 tokens of ones. Now, how do we write this? We can add 10 of ones tokens and get one token of tens. How many ones tokens left? We have seven ones tokens left. We will write this one tens token along with the rest of the tens tokens. We can show this by writing a one over two. This process is called carry over. How many tens tokens do we have now? Eight. Now what shall we do in the end? Yes, we would write one as the total number of tokens of hundred. Oh wow! Babban now had a total of 187 gold eggs. Babban now started feeding his hen with fodder. And the hen kept giving him more golden eggs. After all, Babban became the richest man in the village. Children, in this lesson, we have learned the method of adding two and three digit numbers using the carryover method. In the next lesson, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Children, do you like the rainy season? Come, let us listen to a story of the rainy season in this lesson and see some interesting examples of addition of three-digit numbers. One day, Tinku the grasshopper was walking around playing the violin. Suddenly, he saw a herd of ants and mice. The ants and mice were carrying pieces of some food items. There were 237 ants and 153 rats. Can you tell how many total animals were there in the herd? To find the total number of animals of the flock, we will add 153 to 237. 
what shall we do first? 237 and 153 will be written using tokens. We have a total of 10 ones tokens. What can we do now? Yes, we will use carry over. Add 10 ones tokens and to make 1 tokens of 10s, we will write this 10 token along with the rest of the 10 tokens. And using the carry over process, we will show it by writing a 1 in the 10s digit place. Now we do not have any 1s token left. So how do we write it now? We will write a 0 for this. If we add all the numbers written in the 10 digit place, what will we get? 9. Now at the end, if we add all 100 digit place numbers, we will get 3. Thus, there were a total of 390 animals in the herd. Tinku asks the ants why they were working so hard. But the ants gave him no answer and started picking up their food items and walking faster. Tinku was shocked for a while, then slept comfortably in the shade of a tree. The next day, the grasshopper saw more ants and rats in the herd. Now there were 359 ants and 235 rats. Let us now see the total number of animals. Come, this time we should use this token without adding it. First, we will write 359 and 235 using the places of hundreds, tens and ones like this. Is this right? What shall we do now? We will add numbers written in place of ones. Add 9 and 5. And what do we get? 14. How do we write 14 using carryover? Alright, we will write 4 of the number 14 in the 1's place and then carry over 1 to the 10's place like this. Now, what is the total of the 10's place numbers? 1, 5 and 3. 9. Now, we will add the hundreds place numbers 3 and 2 and get 5. Oh wow! This time there were 594 animals in the herd. This time, Tinku asked a rat why they were collecting food. The rats continued to walk and told Tinku that the rainy season would be here soon and they will find it very difficult to find food in that season. So the ants and the rats were gathering food for the rainy season. <laughs> Tinku laughed at them and said that they were working so hard in vain. They should also dance like him and have fun. Saying this, Tinku went away playing his violin. The next morning, it started raining heavily. Tinku was very hungry and started wandering around in search of food. He then reached the house of the ants and mice. He apologized to the rat that he had learned the lesson of his carelessness. And he now knew that it is sensible to work hard. The rats gave him some food and everyone happily started enjoying the rainy season. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples of addition of three digit numbers.
children till now we have learned about the addition of two and three digit numbers using the carryover method in this lesson we will look at some common mistakes related to it Raju and Bablu are playing a unique game Raju has hidden some puzzles for Bablu in the village after solving each puzzle correctly Bablu will reach the location of the next puzzle there he will find another puzzle once all the puzzles are solved Bablu will find Raju's hidden object here is Bablu's first puzzle Golu distributed 445 laddus to his friends on the first day and 227 laddus the next day Golu has written the sum of the total laddus distributed here solve it and get your next puzzle is this addition correct yes you have rightly found out that this addition is incorrect can you tell what went wrong here here while writing addition of five ones and seven ones as 12 ones we forgot to write the carryover of one can you write the addition correctly we will write addition of five ones and seven ones as 12 ones using carryover like this now what is the sum of the carryover 110 added to four tens and two ten seven tens now in the end how many hundreds are there by adding 400 and 200 600 thus the answer to Bablu's puzzle is 672 laddus Bablu remembered that he saw the number 672 hanging at Appu Halwai's shop he immediately ran to reach Appu's shop Appu gave Bablu his second puzzle this is Bablu's second puzzle Babban got 159 toffees and Gaggu got only 34 toffees the sum is written here to find the total number of toffees they have received is this addition correct if not write the correct sum and reach your last location Bablu starts solving the puzzle to get the total sum of chocolates 159 and 34 is written like this is this addition correct no can you correct the mistake and write the sum correctly while writing 34 using the place value method by mistake 3 of 34 is written in place of hundreds instead of 10 and 4 is written in place of 10 instead of 1 therefore this addition is incorrect children can you solve this addition by writing it correctly now have we written this addition correctly how many ones will we get by adding 9 ones and 4 ones 13 now how do we write 13 1 yes for 13 you will write 3 in the ones position and carry over 1 to the tens place like this now how much the total of carry over added as 110 5 tens and 310 9 because there is no number in the hundreds place in 34 we will write 1 in the hundredth place of 159 in the hundredth position in this way Bablu also found the answer to the second puzzle which is 193 toffees Bablu remembered he had seen this number at Chanda's shop and thought that it may be his last location with this thought Bablu went to Chanda's shop 
On reaching there, Bablu saw that Raju had hidden a cake to celebrate his birthday. Look how happy Bablu looks. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some common mistakes related to the addition of two and three digit numbers.